going on, guys? Welcome back to the Dirty Kitchen. We love to read books in here, and uh, Marcus just finished one he thought was super valuable for anybody that's an entrepreneur in business, uh, and, he, and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about it here, and we're going to add this up on our YouTube series. So let us know what book you read and your, your takeaways and thoughts. All right, so the book that I just finished reading was from uh, Michael E. Gerber called The E-Myth. I'm a slow reader, so it took me a while to uh, to read it. But what I like to do is I like to read to where like I can absorb like that small little amount of information to where I can really like break it down and understand it, and then I'll kind of um, go from there. Show them your notebook. Don't you take notes when you're reading? Oh no, that's no. This um, actually no, it is this one, but I, I haven't I haven't been taking it with me. This was from uh, the the sales uh, from what's it we'll call it? This one, the prospect. Ah, okay. But yeah, he likes to write notes down. Just show him. Open it. Yes. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so I'll write notes down from the. Uh, what you're learning and what's important. Exactly. Okay, so that's a helpful tip right there. Take notes when you're learning stuff because it. Uh, there's lots of science that shows that that makes a big difference in remembering stuff. Okay, so continue. All right. So the the big three things that that I, I took away from. From. The E Myth book is, and it's is basically it, it kind of goes on a on a, the ba the book is about this this lady named Sarah who Michael's kind of coaching her up on her business. She has a um, a pie a pie shop or whatever that she that she's doing, and she's become overwhelmed with it. And he's basically letting her know that there's there's three types of um, business owners. And the reason why some of them don't don't succeed is because some of them are stuck in the technician phase, which the technician phase is like somebody, you know, who comes in and they do the work, you know, they actually work inside their business. But the, the technician, they they only they only care about the, the, the tangible results, like, you know, the actual make how the pie is made, you know, they, that's that's what the, what they're focused on, what they do is and, and what they see. And that is com that's not what the entrepreneur is about. The entrepreneur is somebody who has vision and sees into the future, and 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 they can't since they like the the outcome isn't right there in front of them. That's what the technician. That's what the technician is worried about is the actual outcome. Like a they, manager. Yeah, exactly. And that's the, and that's the next. And that's those. So there's the entrepreneur, the manager, and the technician. And if you want to be successful as as a business owner, you can't be an entrepreneur and a technician at the same time because their their ideas they, they they conflict because the technician wants to see the results, the entrepreneur is like thinking about the future and what can be, and the technician all they're worried about is making the pie and the and the and uh and boxing the pie and selling the pie that like that's that's all they're worried about they don't want to hear about like oh the, well the you new know flavor the new yeah they, they, that's yeah. that's so you and and that's that's basically you kind of have and, and th that was the, one of the big main takeaways and that's why a lot of the a lot of small businesses don't succeed is because a lot of business owners they work in their business and they don't have time to actually innovate yeah, innovate and and work. And I was actually listening to this uh, podcast today too. There's a difference between working in your business and working on your business. And that's what an entrepreneur needs to be doing is working on their business, not in it. Marketing, you know, um, finding new new ways to like like Taylor said, innovate. So that was one uh, key thing that I took away from the book. And then there was all, obviously there was other things in there like. Uh, I, I talked to Taylor about it too. Um, you have a 16% chance of closing a sale if you're wearing a blue suit. That and my, very small percentage, but a 16% chance. Uh, there, another another thing was you have a better time, a better chance closing the sale if, if a customer comes in and ask, and you ask them, "Have you heard of your XYZ business?" Instead of, "How may I help you?" Because then you have the chance to uh, educate them on what it is that you actually do instead of just like, oh, well, how may I help you? And they're like, oh, well, I'm, you know, you know what I mean? So that, that, was, that was a couple little things. I'm going to go back in about six months and probably touch base on the, on the book and also to see where I'm at with my, with my business as well. 
Cool. Okay. And then an interesting thing that I'm thinking of while he said that was if you watch any intro or interviews of Jeff Bezos, which is obviously one of the greatest entrepreneurs of all time, Amazon's founder, he says that people will come up and congratulate him for a great quarter when they get their results back on their sales. And he says that he says, thank you. But he real he, people don't realize that he's working on a quarter three or four years in the future. So he's already known that this quarter was going to be good three to four years prior to it actually happening. So it's a great example of how one of the greatest entrepreneurs in the world are always working on the future and thinking ahead. And obviously, it works for Amazon. Mm -hmm. So it will work for us and you too. So thanks for watching. That's uh, Marcus's book review on the E-Myth by Michael Gerber. We'll keep bringing these to you as we read more books. Thanks for watching. Kitchen a dirty, the dirty, the dirty. Kitchen a dirty, kitchen a dirty. Kitchen a dirty, the dirty, the dirty. Kitchen a dirty, kitchen a dirty. Kitchen a dirty, the dirty.